back to my channel or it's Andreana. I'm Andreana and in this video I'm going to be doing some more squish them all hunting, Halloween squish them all hunting and I did find some great stuff like some really really good stuff guys so stay tuned and watch the video all the way through so you can see the haul at the end. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and let's get to it.
right guys, it's time for a haul. So let's get started. Most of the places I went to were Walgreens and then like maybe two Kroger's. Um, so I got the goods. So what I'm first gonna show you is, I did find one of the treat pails. This is Emily. Here's her tag. Hopefully this is not too bright for you guys. But yeah, here's her tag. This is Emily Treat Pill. It has original Squishmallows on the back. There's a little handle. She's like a bat and a little pumpkin. I thought that was super cute. And the inside is like this. It's pretty deep. A lot of space in here. Like I could fit in a phone. There's a there's like random stuff over here, a brush. <laughs> um my keys like a good amount of stuff can fit in here so it's great for like you trick-or-treaters this is something really super cute to uh get they had like a bunch of new ones at kroger as you saw in the video so many different treat pails i wish they did like a grace one like grace the ghost i wish they made her into a treat pail that would have been super cute i would have got that one as well but here she is emily um, I don't really plan on really wearing this out. I know some people say they want to wear it, like, use it like a purse. I was like, maybe I'll use it, um, as a bag when I go to the amusement park down here is Busch Gardens in Williamsburg. And they have, like, hollow screen for Halloween. I was like, I could wear this, you know, bring this with me to hollow screen as, like, my bag or something. I thought that would be cute. That's, that's why I got it. Yep, that's the treat pail. Got from Walgreens. And... What I really, really have been searching for for so long. I felt like it took forever for it to actually hit the stores. And then I finally saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there it is. It's Bulan of the Devil Cow. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. I was looking for this forever. And then, excuse me. And then I'm in this, uh, I'm in this, uh, what's it called? Group me, group, like this little group where we uh, post like what we find in our area and whatnot. And so the girl, she had found one and she said, I'll do a pickup. And I was like, huh, like, what, do I ask her to pick it up for me? But I was like, no, I really want to find it myself. And you know, with patience, y'all, sometimes it just takes a little patience. With patience, I finally found it. And I found like so many, like I found one at one store then I found like two at another and then maybe like three at another. Isn't that crazy? It's like, I've been looking for it so long and then pop 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 there it goes but here she is um here she is balana the devil cow she has a little tail horns wings some people thought it like you know she wasn't that cute they didn't really care about her but i thought she's cute and then like i collect the eight inch cows and cows in general really so i'm like i have to have her for my eight inch cow collection like look at that Super happy to have Milano. Yes. Oh my gosh. So that's that. And then uh, I had like a little clip from me going to Walmart and I found these little skeleton guys. This is Stump. A little skeleton. I thought it was cute. So I got it. I know there was like a purple one too, but I didn't see the purple one. I would have got the purple one as well. But I think it's like a skeleton cat because it has like the little cat ears and then a little tail. So I thought that was super cute. Favorite color is blue, so I'm like, little blue skeleton guy, little cat guy, whatever. Super cute. And then what you didn't see, I don't think I recorded it, but I did go to Hot Topic today. And, oh, oh, that was the little seat. But bam, we got the mystery sea cows. I think this came up to like, I think it was like $16 in the stores 15 15 dollars 16 dollars for tax or something like that but yeah 16 dollars 15 16 dollars for a little sea cow i don't know which one it is so let's open it and find out i haven't opened one of these things in like forever i hope i don't get the purple one i don't really like the purple sea cow. any other one i'll be i'll be fine with but that purple one is just not cute to me. Hold on. These things are sometimes hard to open. 
because I have to use my handy dandy knife. There we go. Oh, oh no. Bruh. Bruh. Look at this, y'all. You know, you win, you lose, you win some, you lose some. I know I look so disappointed because I am. I did not want the purple one. I shouldn't have said anything. Just jinxed myself. I was in the store. I was like, I hope it's not the purple one. And then I looked in the other, like there was two. I looked in this one. I was like, I can't really tell. And then I looked in the other one. I'm like, that one definitely looks purple. This is purple too. Okay. Anyway, that was the video, guys. That's all I got. I'm still on the lookout for Day of the Dead, Ronnie the Cow. I think I might have just missed it. You know, people are snatching them up so quick. Because they have been popping up in my area, but people just buy them so quick. I didn't get to it fast enough. I'll be at work. So, yeah, I might have to just buy it on Macari. Hopefully, I get to find it or, you know, hopefully somebody can do a pickup for me. But um, that's the video, guys. We got Balana. We got the little stump guy. We got the oh, this, uh. and then we got Emily. <laughs> Emily, this is my haul, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.